Red Scare TV is brought to you by comrades like you. Thank you. Welcome, comrades, to another installment of Red Scare TV. I'm, of course, Red Scare. Today, we're going to be talking about a uh, topic that many of you don't know about. I only discovered it about a few months ago. It's called flunkyism. What's flunkyism? Essentially, it's a catch-all term to describe people who are anti-revisionists and right opportunists, people who don't want to change anything. They're uncreative. They're in the past. They stay the same. And with them, the world has just gone on without them person like this is Ember Hoja. I'm sorry to disappoint my Hojas out there, but one of the reasons that Albania failed is because they failed to innovate and to see how the world was changing. For example, this also happened in the Soviet Union. The uh, average <coughs> the average age of the Politburo aged about 70 years old. And the mindset of the time was, well, we don't need to innovate. You know, we've been using paper and pencil forever. Meanwhile, the West was getting into computers and helping that run their economy. Meanwhile, the Soviet Union, paper and pencil. These old guys still thinking, well, the past worked now and the past will work then. Marxism-Leninism is a immortal science and it's not. Marxism-Leninism changes and becomes different based on the material and social conditions. We are dialectical materialists. We are, in a sense, scientists. We're always looking at how the world is changing. For example, Huey P. Newton probably put it best when he said, some people think that they are Marxist-Leninists and they refuse to be creative, so therefore, they're tied to the past. They're tied to a rhetoric that does not apply to the present and sent to and present set of conditions. They are tied to a set of thoughts that edges upon dogma, and what we sometimes call flunkyism. How do you spot a flunky? <clears throat> A flunky is someone who is always just stuck in the past. They're always talking about, well, uh, this happened and this worked and this happened and this worked without actually thinking if it will work today in today's climate. We can't just blindly follow the ideas of the past. We have to apply them to now and see what's going to work. But we also have to get creative. Part of being in the struggle is being out in the open, out in the field, and doing it, and getting creative, making tactics, and see what works, to try to poke holes in the scheme of the bourgeoisie and in their tactics, to find little gaps to get in through there, and to keep using those tactics as long as they work, and to exploit them so that the bourgeoisie can fail. To otherwise do otherwise is just flunkyism, and we are not flunkyists, we are not right opportunists, keeping the, the same way it is, we're not anti-revisionists, we're keeping the same way it is, we're not Hoja, keeping it the same way it is, and allowing Albania to fall, we're not uh, uh, the Soviet Union, you know, we're not, we, we have to innovate, one of the reasons that the Soviet Union fa failed and collapsed and, dis and dissolved was the fact that the Communist Party of the Soviet Union basically got old and literally died off. I'm Red Scared TV, and as always, Red Salute. If you would like to chat with Red Scared TV, you can hit me up on my Discord server or on Twitter at Red Scare T. Thank you for watching Red Scare TV.